This is before applying the optimizations on Windows and this is after applying these optimizations. So if you want to get more FPS and lower ping in all games, this is the video for you. These methods will work on all low-end, mid and high-end PCs, all laptops helping you get more performance and reduce ping. So smash that like button and let's dive into it. So the tool we will be using for this is called No Ping and I know a lot of you will say that it's paid which is true. However, No Ping also offers a 7 day free trial so you can use it completely for free for 7 days and test out your games to see the performance improvement that it gives you. No Ping supports more than 800 games and you can also play the IP blocked games since it does act as a VPN. So go down into the description and click on the link to get to this website. Since most of you will be using 64-bit windows, click on the download 64-bit version and it will download the setup for you. Once you have the setup downloaded, simply double click on it to run it as admin. Then this window will pop up, hit next, I accept, next again and if it asks you which game you are looking for to use No Ping for, so simply put one of your main games inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in Valorant, then hit install. Then the installation will commence and all you need to do is wait for it to install. Once the installation is finished, you will need to click on finish and then let it run. Then this screen will pop up and here you can test 7 days for free. This is completely free and you can do it right now. If you don't have an account, you can register here. However, for me, I already have an account so I'm gonna input that and we will meet after my login. But before optimizing any of our games, how does no ping even work? So the way no ping works is that it provides you better routes between your computer and the game servers. Most of the times, your ISP will have a lot of different routes which aren't directly connected to your game server but instead have to go through many connections which causes high network latency or high ping. No ping routes your connection to the shortest and most direct route so you can enjoy a stable connection to game servers with zero packet loss and much lower ping. And here we are inside of the no ping interface. Now inside of here you can search for any game that you play such as Fortnite then click on select the server and here you will get the list of all the servers that are available for you at the moment. Right now my internet isn't working quite well at all that's the reason I haven't been playing much these days but as you can see you have a variety of servers to select from and the ones at the top are the recommended ones. For example, if I go ahead and click on the Tokyo 4 server, then I'll need to click on optimize this game and it will automatically connect me to that server. As you can see, it also says that after the game is optimized, the selected server button will be green. And you can always come back and disconnect it from here or connect to any other server that you want. Now the game that I mostly play these days is called Valorant. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on select a server for this one. And as you can see, it gives me the bare servers where the ping is actually quite a lot low than what I normally get. So here my best option would be to go for the Bahrain 1 server and then click on optimize this game. Another thing that I want to talk about is if you go into the settings, you can turn on turbo games. Now this is a function that improves the keyboard response, basically lowering the input latency of your keystrokes, that is the time between your pressing the key and it actually registering inside of your game. So I highly recommend that you turn this on. Another thing that you can do is boost FPS. Now this option will boost FPS of your game thus giving you better performance. It's worth giving it a shot since you have nothing to lose. So click on boost FPS and inside of here you can see a bunch of options. Game priority improves your FPS by increasing the game process priority so I'm gonna turn this on. Windows visuals will speed up computer by turning off some visual settings basically the advanced system settings that we manually apply and as you can see my visuals have automatically changed. Windows services speeds up the computer by turning off some of Windows processes. Now this one I only recommend while you are playing the game so since I am recording, I'm not gonna turn this one on. For Windows Energy, it changes your energy power plan. So I'm gonna turn this on. Windows Game Bar will turn off the Game Bar. Windows Processor will enable the core's power, basically unpacking all of the CPU cores. Windows Performance Count will turn off the performance count settings of Windows. Then Windows Services will decrease the priority of Windows Services. Once again, this is only recommended while you are playing the game. Windows Registry will speed up the computer by optimizing registry. Same thing, use this only when you are playing the game. Windows Super fetch will turn off super fetch which I do recommend and you will need to restart your PC. Hit OK. Windows search will turn off Windows search. Windows update will turn off Windows update. Now this one is quite handy since you can turn off Windows updates while you are playing the game and once you are done playing the game you can simply come back here and enable the Windows updates. You can also speed up the computer by turning off compression of Windows which I really don't recommend though. Closing out of here there are a bunch of other things that you can try inside of here as well. So I highly recommend you to go down into the description 
description and download the no ping for free right now it gives you a seven day free trial inside of which you can test out all of your favorite games and analyze the improvements that it gives you then it's really up to you whether you wanna buy it or not but i highly recommend that you at least give that seven day free trial a chance because it might actually just prove to be quite beneficial for you but if you want to optimize your windows without downloading anything then go ahead and check out this video right now